Welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Pulp, the process edition. Now this is a book that's obviously previously been released in a slightly different form, but this is the Behind the Scenes by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Now it's 256 pages, it's a bit bigger than the original one. And you can see the prices there, all the various things. Crime and Western, rated M, mature, and it's from Image Comics. Really nice hardback. And in many ways, this is how they should have released it first time around. I would have been over the moon if they released it like this, but I don't think they ever would. But still, I hope for any future releases that Ed Brubaker do, that they do also this as well. I would definitely be buying this if they bring it out all the behind the scenes. Just great. Well, let's show the original book. And you can see the art has slightly changed, actually. Has changed. You can see the colour is slightly different. Now, I'm not saying which one I prefer in terms of the colouring. I think I prefer this one, actually. I, I'm not actually over with the cover. The pulp cover was not my favourite of covers. So, I, so it doesn't really matter too much. You can see it's slightly different orange. However, 256 pages. Let's just go for the book. And I love Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. I've got considerable, I haven't got everything. There's some things that are just virtually impossible to find and I still haven't got Criminal Volume 2, the deluxe one. But I love it when they bring out these deluxe ones. And this is a quality book all the way through. Now there are not saying it's perfect because there are things that I think I wish they would have included, wish they would have included more of. Maybe some things maybe less of. No, I think less of. Definitely they, they should have just included more. Actually, also, that's a slight, I always find, I would prefer if they actually made that slightly bigger. I'm not, I love credits. I think credits are the key thing. I think you really need to put credits in terms of all the people that are involved with production. Everyone's involved, important. So it's nice that you've got the marketing, print manager, all those sort of people get a big mention, but it's very tiny print. You really have to, you know, really struggle to see that. And Jacob Phillips, of course, doing the brilliant colouring. The colouring's superb. And that's one area that I would love to see more of. Still, process has got a great introduction. I always love the introductions for every Baker. Also, I love the afterword as well. There's an afterword as well. And that's probably one area that I think could have, they could improve. A few more sort of critiques, some other people putting their comments about things. Because quite often when you read these books, you don't realise, oh yeah, I understand that, oh I understand that. And then, but sometimes when you read someone else's point of view of it, you think, you know what? That's interesting. That's the way I'm looking at that story. I hadn't thought about that character being like that. Or oh, that's the reason why that was done. Instead, you know, you just read it and oh, form a certain opinion. But still, I love this. You've got the writing, you've got the notebooks. You've also got his great... I just love the fact it gives a lot of details about... It's all like 1930s Hitler and all that sort of stuff. There's quite a lot of the march in Europe. Just fascinating. Pulp. Actually, one thing, does he mention about that if it had another title? With Pulp starting Western. Hmm. He doesn't say anything, but if there was another title to it, but I guess you don't want to put everything, not every single, it doesn't, maybe Pulp was the title. But it's, I love Pulp books. Maybe that's where it came from, Pulp books. But you got, or maybe people were beating the Pulp. I'm not certain. Cover. I love the fact it's got a cover. And I love that cover. Now, that would have been a great cover. Obviously, the characters are different, so it's not, but that's obviously the one that they've uh, gone with the cover, which is fine. But they've changed it. I don't really like that cover. And obviously the cover matches this cover. Except it's done as a pencil sketch at the bottom. But it's just not my favourite covers of theirs. Like they've done some brilliant covers. And that sometimes, for me, you get the book and you think, wow, what that cover is. And there's, I love virtually every volume of their books. Pulp, no exception, I've loved. And you've also got the, and the you know early attempts of it. Very subtle, very subtle changes there. You know, different angles, the face, the faces that are left to right and so on and so on. Face front. I suppose you can do one with him turning to his back. That sort of thing. Slightly different, wouldn't it? But that's the thing when you often look at it. And, they, and then you've got the early sort of sketches as well. The digital layers building up. I mean, they're absolutely, the artwork is... And that really... Now, if the book, the artwork, had been done to this level of detail, one, it probably would have taken forever. I don't know how long the cover took doesn't say actually the timing would be fascinating was it a couple of days a week because that's really detailed pencil work or coloring as well i mean it's just great i love it but it's really really great and that must have taken a while to do that however trailer 
get on to the rest of it. It's got a trailer. And that's one thing I really love about Ed Brubakers and Sean Phillips. They put trailers out. So they put it a couple of months before it comes out. Or they might put it in the previous book. So you might see like something that's going to come out in a year's time. They've got a trailer. Now it might not turn out to be like that. And you might see a slightly different page. But it's just good. And I just love the fact they show in this case. They show the pencil sketch. They're just brilliant. I love it. And also obviously the script. And it's great to get the script. I love books with script. It's like one with like Sandman. Sandman with script. And it's just great because then you look at it and think, how would I do it? How would I draw it? And you could sort of sit there and think, okay, sketch up something. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And you, how you turn characters. Do you put the character before there? Do you put the character at different angles? From left, right, or behind, further away, close up? Doing certain actions. Do you wait for the gun to pull, pull out or not pull out? Whatever. How the timing is done, the pace in the timing. And also what the panel that follows and so on, how it all builds up. All kinds of things that are different. That obviously probably change, the artist will change. And that's another thing that's really good in here because you've got the thumbnails. But you've got the colour in there of those. But these, I mean the thumbnails. Thumbnails are just great. I love getting books of film when they have these arts of, you know, art of, of a certain film. And they have the thumbnails or they have the storyboards. Just fascinating. Storyboards are just brilliant art art pieces many cases sometimes they look better than art comic books because they're just amazing. but this is and I, I would love to see all kinds of books with these sort of things if, if they're done obviously if they're not done they're not done and the artist will be different every artist will not do that properly some will some won't but it's just great and it would be nice in special editions omnibus editions if marvel or whoever dc would put the thumbnails if they're available they're obviously not always available, are they? They've been destroyed or the artist doesn't want to reveal all everything. Pencils, also the information about Clip Studio Paint. One of the best applications. Illustrator, superb. Doesn't mention Painter. Painter's one of my favourites. I love Painter. But it's just... And then you've got the same, basically, same, but it's, again, shows that different. The way the angles are changed slightly, subtle. After every, and obviously different end at the bottom of the page as well. But it's just great, just reading the scripts, reading the story along, and it's just all the way through. And it's about 100 pages of that, all the way, and just really, really first-rate artwork, all the, and all the lines all over it, perspective and everything, just giving a real sort of the depth to the story. And it's just, I love the way you see, you can see there, it's all going off in the perspective. It's just, just fascinating to see how it's done. I mean, you sort well, I know how, those sort of things. You would do that if you were going to build up, obviously, in a street scene. There's no point in doing a street scene if you haven't got some, well, depends on what you want to achieve. I suppose if you want a very abstract background, then you might not bother with that sort of thing, I guess. Still, you've got that, you've got inks. Um, let's turn the page there because I don't want to show the end of the book. I'm assuming all the way through this, my apologies if not, that you have read the original, this one, because this, this has been out for a while now. This is a good year or so if not longer it's probably been out two years it has been quite a while so i assume it's been read i suspect you're probably not coming to this without this is probably not the one you'd buy if you haven't bought pulp before sort of thing maybe maybe not but i love the fact that the ink the various brushes and things was fascinating but of course sometimes you i think oh will you do that on computer but obviously he doesn't in this case it obviously really creates it all the various artwork Quite often when I ink, I do. Ink, I find inking is easier on the computer, but I guess maybe that's not the way of doing it. Palette, I love this, the colour. And I wish this section had been, and I love the colours. Colours are the key thing. I think colours are good colouring. Sometimes there was one, oh, come on, one of the ones that I just thought I didn't like the colouring. Just wasn't, for me, very good. And it sort of slightly spoiled the book because of the colouring. The story was brilliant. The ink, the artwork was brilliant. Colouring just didn't ring true for me. And I thought, oh, I wish they'd just made slightly different. It just paled it out a bit too much. And this wasn't the case. The colouring in this is just absolutely first rate. Just love the, the reds, the burnt sienna, uh, just everything about it. And also things, and this is nice as well. They've got a page where they show the layering. So basically, you, you're obviously creating the pages, the 1930s pages, these without the ink work. So you've got completely sort of flat colours at the back, which is just great. 
all the layers building up. Well, obviously, you can see the brush strokes there and the way that obviously the texture, probably I assume the snow is created using a sort of brush stroke just to apply to create the C effect. I mean, obviously, you could apply it using vector designs, I suppose, and whatever, though it would be a, probably take a bit of time. I would use a brush probably for that. But it's still amazing. And I love colouring. I wish they'd gone for a 20 or 30 page section on the colouring, but they didn't. Would have been nice. And also how, how sort of the production would have been interesting as well. I would love to have maybe a section of, you know, later on. Obviously, it wouldn't be the pro, but it's still part of the process. To get this book to me, it would have been nice to have had the later on as well. And that's fascinating. All the bits of maybe information about what's happening behind the scenes. Not obviously details about how many copies were sold and those sort of things. That was, that's probably pushing it a bit too far. But certainly a, a little bit more detail about the administration. What goes on after the book is handed in to be looked at. The editorial, what does the editors, what do people say? Oh, you know what, we can't work with this or we, will things change? I assume not. I'm certain that uh, that things are not changed, but it's some, you know, all the process is always fascinating to find out what goes on in the things. You know, the writer's sort of suggestions, maybe what some of the lines that were changed, that would have been fascinating. You know, earlier scripts, maybe bits where the lines were not this and how it works through to the final product. Those sort of millions, you could add, literally a 400 page book would have been nice. But it is good they've also got, and it's really nice to see. Obviously the artwork, is, it's just, first you can see the pulps, obviously you can see that's the reference to thing. Sick gum, I love pulp books. It's like millions and millions of pulps. One of those areas, and there's just recently been one out at Street and Smith. Pulp book, it's about pulp power, I think it was called. And it's just amazing. I haven't done a review of that, have I? I don't think so. <laughs> but it's one of the just amazing books. Lots of examples, pictures, and I just love these pulp books. Absolutely. Now, most of them are completely impossible to read, to be honest. Well, they're okay, but they are a bit of a struggle in most cases. I mean, but this book is just superb, and it's it really first rate. I love the, the, the whole the war westerns, the whole everything about it, the gangster, just brilliant. But I don't want to say anything about that. So let's quickly go all the way to the back, and I don't want to show you the last page because I do that quite often by accident and then I end up having to edit it and I'm just good, couldn't turn the page. So, right, all the way through back to the afterword. But it would have been nice if at the end of it would have been about half a dozen essays about how brilliant this book was and all about, you know, behind it. A bit more detail, even more detail. But I loved it. And of course it's got the usual, which I think is just always good, bibliography. It can't be a bibliography. Good old bibliography. What a great selection. Kill or be killed. I just love that one. I really, really. Now that would be brilliant. I would love to see a processed version of that. Uh, also, Fatal. Or Fatal. Fatal. I assume it's Femme Fatal. So it must be that. Fade Out. One of the best. I love also The Coward, Criminal. All those ones are great. Actually, some of these other ones are great. Uh, let's see. Well, those books are good. Actually, Volume 2. It shows picture of Volume 2. I haven't got Volume 2 yet. I've got Volume 1 and I've got Volume 3. Volume 2 I haven't got. Maybe I missed that. Hopefully it come out in print again at some point. My Heroes. That was the one that I didn't... The colouring. Just... Mm, maybe I might look at it again. I might change my mind. It's one of those things when you read it sometimes, you look at it later and think, oh, you know what? It was better than I thought. But when I remember reading it, that's weird. you got pulp there. they got picture there. And that colouring does not match the colouring in the book. Isn't that odd? wonder why they put a picture there of... Actually, that, weirdly, yeah, that's odd. They've actually, the colouring there for that book matches that cover more than that, which it isn't the, pro post, uh, the process edition. But these are great as well. Reckless. Friend of Devil, Destroy All Monsters. Actually, Destroy All Monsters is probably one of my favourites. I That would be brilliant as a process edition as well. In fact, I would love to see them all as process editions. But they're all good. Fade Out, especially. Cruel Summer. Well, that was okay. Sometimes I, I think, yeah. I'm not going to put my opinions about certain ones. So, I mean, they're not all uniformly brilliant. But they're still, I think, some of the best comics around. And you've got here. 
biographies at the back. You can't be a good old biography. And that's the process edition. I think this is a must have for any comic book fan of every writer and Sean Phillips. I think it's just absolutely brilliant. It's a pity in many ways that they didn't bring it out like this in the first time. That would have been amazing. But anyone who's interested in creating comics or the process of comics, I think this is brilliant. Hopefully at some point, maybe they'll bring out an artist edition or artisan edition. But any more of these will be absolutely brilliant as well. I would definitely buy them. So this is totally recommended. Superb, superb book.